Despite a run of six league games unbeaten, Gillingham travelled to Loftus Road on Tuesday night inside the relegation zone. Their fans recognised the urgency of the situation. Over 2,000 travelled up from Kent to roar the Jills on. Lee Cook came close early on for Queen's Park Rangers, but on 17 minutes, the Gillingham supporters had a really good goal to celebrate. Once Michael Flynn got hold of the ball, he wasn't going to let go. On and on he went, eventually tucking in his third goal since joining from Wigan. Pace, power and great control and 1-0 to Stan Turnant's strugglers. But Rangers were much improved after the break. Adam Miller forced Jason Brown into a save from 25 yards and then again from double that distance. And just before the hour mark, the equaliser arrived. Lee Cook with the cross and Paul Furlong was there to tuck in his 18th goal of the season. One point from a pair of home games won't much help Rangers push for a playoff place, but Gillingham's point has lifted them out of the bottom three. Well, it's always good. It's always good for, uh, for morale and confidence. We got out of it uh, last week or some time and then we fell back in. But we, uh, the players are given everything they have and they're playing particularly well. And they're very difficult to beat. And uh, we're on a decent run. So, you know, we've got ourselves in a situation where we have a chance of, uh, of getting out of it. Stan Turnant has certainly improved the club's position since he took control. His captain out on the pitch is a veteran of over 600 senior games, Paul Smith. Mentally, it's, um, it is important to look at the table and, and see yourself at the bottom three. Massive game Saturday, We've got two home games now, uh, Burnley and Crew. If we can pick up six points, we'll, um, you know, we'll have a great chance of staying up. Maximum points from those two fixtures would see the Jills hit 50 points with games to spare. And another season of championship football would be secured for Kent's finest. <laughs>